Hey, before the video starts, I'm sponsored by Dubby, which is an energy drink company. Click the link down below and use that Yoder, that is capital T-H-A-T, capital Y-O-D-E-R, at checkout to get 10% off. If you want to help support me, this is the best way to do it. All right, now on to the video. Thank you. Hello, class. My name is Dr. John Yoder. Welcome to my presentation. And today, we are going to be going over SCP-5043. Level 2 slash 5043 classified. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. All available supplies of SCP-5043 are kept in a climate-controlled storage area at Site-120. Testing of SCP-5043 requires Level 4 authorization and is to be conducted at a blast-proof testing chamber or an approved Foundation bomb range. Description. SCP-5043 refers to a bottle of anomalous pharmaceutical tablets and various other small objects, labeled, quote, Dados, a person of interest practicing parapharmacology, believed to be responsible for the creation of SCP-5043 due to association. Brain explosion, not, uh, the, do, the make, the, your brains have a blow explosion. SCP-5043 is packaged in a mundane plastic vitamin bottle, which has been taped over with a crudely drawn label. Three seconds after consuming SCP-5043, the subject's head will explode at a force comparable to one kilogram of TNT. Once this has occurred, the resultant viscera will display minor attraction towards the subject's torso, accelerating towards it at 0.03 meters a second. If not restrained, the subject's viscera will eventually group together at the exposed neck and reform into a living, fully functioning head. The memories and personalities of subjects remain largely intact. Subjects undergoing the effects of SCP-5043 have reported varied experiences. Of the 20 individuals tested so far, 7 have reported total unconsciousness. 5 have reported their sensory inputs and cognitive functions to be reduced commensurate to that of REM sleep. Four have reported the experience to be exhilarating, some having likened it to the usage of narcotics. The remaining four have reported SCP-5043's effects as painful, confusing, and or frightening. SCP-5043 contains a secondary, infohazardous anomaly. Subjects attempting to speak the words Dato's brain or a variety thereof will momentarily trail off into nonsensical babble. This effect will only occur when used in reference to SCP-5043. SCP-5043 was discovered on March 10, 2020, when it was delivered unnoticed to a Foundation Front Company in New York City. SCP-5043 was brought to Site-120 for testing and storage. Addendum SCP-5043-1 Packaging of SCP-5043 while the packaging of SCP-5043 is itself non-anomalous, it was brought under scrutiny in an attempt to gauge more information about the individual known as Dado. The following points of interest were considered particularly noteworthy. In addition to pharmaceutical tablets, the packaging also contained various vitamin tablets, candies, nonpareils, uncooked rice, allspice, and paper clips, all displaying identical anomalous properties. SCP-5043's bottle was originally for non-anomalous vitamin D supplements. The bottle's label is affixed with consumer-grade masking tape. The label's product information is written with a pencil. On the backside is a crudely drawn insignia resembling an FDA approval stamp made with red crayon. The label itself was originally a receipt for toast, lactose-free milk, chicken nuggets, margarine, grapes, hamster feed, and two packets of AA batteries bought at Walmart Macro Plaza in Baja, California, Mexico, on November 12, 2019. The adverse side of the label contains the phrases Dado's Mind Wipe, Mental Breakdown by Dado, Dado's Mental Breakdown, and Dado's Brains... <laughs> written with a pen. Attached to SCP-5043 was also a slightly crumpled letter, reportedly written by Dado, stating that SCP-5043 is a test back. It also contains a lengthy, sporadic, and likely exaggerated account of running a failing business, financial problems, political persecution, and mental instability, eventually trailing them off into non-sequitur descriptions of various currently airing TV shows. Due to extremely low legibility, the contents of said letter have not been transcribed. Neither SCP-5043 nor any recovered supplementary material contains fingerprints or DNA. Well, you could say this is a mind-blowing anomaly. 
That secondary effect is fucking annoying as hell, though. <laughs> Class dismissed. Have a good day. Do you want to see SCP readings two to three days before they're officially posted on my YouTube channel? Do you want to see blooper reels on each SCP I do? Do you want to beta read the book I'm writing on SCP? Do you want to request a video? If you answered yes to any of those questions, click the Patreon link in the description. Just for $5 a month, you'll get everything I mentioned and more. SCP-5043 was written by Hidori. Dr. John Yoder was played by Andrew Vinson. The picture of SCP-5043 was taken from the SCP Wiki. The image of the SCP-5043 victim was created by Night Cafe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.